how to live just for today. But I think every time I tell my story, I heal more too. I heal more every time I talk about some of the most painful stuff. Um, one of the girls said, well, my father molested me, and that got my attention because my stepfather had done it. And I was like, wow, she's talking about that. And see, my first stepfather had done to me. It was not my fault. And I believed it was because he told me that it was my fault and that I was a bad girl and that I better not tell anybody. So that was the first thing that I uncovered that at 11 years old, how could I be responsible for something like that? He violated me. I realized that I was suffering from not having my biological father, um, but that I used it as an excuse for years to use. It was just an excuse. I don't know who I was, because I didn't have a clue who I was. I was a chameleon on the streets. I was whoever somebody wanted me to be so that I could get whatever I needed. Um, and just really finding a safe place to talk about some real hard, painful stuff. like. This, there were reasons why we used. There were things that either happened to us in our childhood or things that happened to us while we were on the streets um, that kept us locked into that vicious cycle. Um, where can you get up and get dressed and take a shower and get dressed and know that you're going somewhere that some way is going to make a difference in your life and in other women's lives all around the world? Literally. Um, where can you go where you know that the people around you love you and have your best interests at heart? Who gets to get up and go to work every day and do that? Who gets to start their day off with a cup of coffee and a, an amazing new workplace um, that are giving women more job skills? Who gets to uh, reflect on the past, the present, and the future of a small circle in Nashville, Tennessee that expands all around the world? Because literally it does. What we do here is not just about us.